And welcome to the Coach's Corner. We have Willie Yarberry yes, with us sir. today from Wake Forest. Well, Willie, I had a chance to come up and see your team play in the Belt Bowl last okay. year. And I, I will tell you, that was the best college bowl game of the year. Yes, sir. It was in the run for one of the, uh, the top games. It was either out of us or Georgia and Ohio. I mean, Oklahoma, I'm tripping. But that was, I mean, that one's up and down the field. Yeah. That, was, that was like a track meet. I know. It's kind of bad on the defensive <laughs> side, though. That's the only thing about it. But a, a, a game like that, it came right down. Basically, I, we were saying they're in the press box where I was sitting. It's going to come down to the team that had the ball last. Yep. And then y'all scored and then got the stop yep. at the end right there. That the stopped. defense. That was a big stop. Stepped up there. All right. Well, tell us what's going on up, up at Wake Forest right now. Shoot. Right now, I'm hoping it's not raining. That's what's up. Um, but on the team, we're just trying to get better. We're using this uh, offseason to to take the most advantage of it. Um, getting prepared for Tulane right now. Um, we just actually just maxed out because we have like a little down period, discretionary uh, week. And so people are probably like leaving to go home soon. What did it mean to you? And I know Coach Clawson I was talking about post game about you guys getting to go to a bowl, yep. something you'll never forget. But not only did you get to go to a bowl, but you won your bowl. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you think that does for the program. That also brings momentum into the next season. Um, beating a great, a good team in Texas A&M was a, a, a big win for our program. Um, it just shows guys that we can beat anybody if we, if we try hard enough. Um, I just – it was just a great feeling. I'm just still, I'm still thinking about it now. Every time I pass the Panther Stadium, it still, I still get goosebumps sometimes. Just the thought of that we was just there and we just won. Well, it was, it was a great game, big, big game, but SEC, ACC game. Yes, sir. But you guys were the underdogs, and yep. even though media is supposed to be neutral, I was pulling for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I really <laughs> so, do. So I enjoyed that. Wouldn't mind seeing you come back play again this year too. Oh, uh, or play, playing a bowl somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. Uh, of course, we're trying to get past just the bowls. We're trying to start um, playing for championships. Well, I, I picked you up there in the upper echelon I in the brackets that. this year, though, because y'all you played with a lot of heart, and yes, I like the enthusiasm. And, and I think that what you did last year in the bowl is something you can really build off of. Gotcha. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be anxious to see y'all play of course, this year. And I appreciate that. All right, we're gonna talk now. We're gonna get down to some of the fun questions or All some right, of the challenging questions. All right, first of all, baseball. When you go to home plate, they play a theme song. All right. If they did that in football, what would be your theme song when you went on the field? They introduce you and could have your music playing like the baseball players. What would you have playing for you as your theme song? My personal theme song? Yeah. Uh, we ready. That's by Bone Crush. <laughs> I hear you. Like I said, we ready. Like we ready to play. All righty. All right. What is the most important thing you want people to know about you? Most important thing I want people to know about me is that outside of football, I'm also a great guy. Uh, I always try to help others, and I'm just a great teammate. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not going to say a great. I'm not trying to boast myself, but I'm a good teammate. Uh, I like to help others and just a caring person. Okay. All right. This was a fun one right here. Uh, if you had arm wrestling tournament on your team there, who'd win? If I had arm if, wrestling. If, if Wake Forest football team had an arm wrestling Man, tournament. Man, I'm going to have this. I'm, I'm a, can you take it? Like this one, I'm, I wish I didn't. I wasn't out for the spring. If I wasn't out for the spring, I would save me. But I'm probably going to have to give it to my uh, my guy, Phil. Like he's here. He's he's with y'all next. But okay. uh, he's probably got me now since I was uh, out for the spring. And he's kind of probably passed me on bench and stuff like that. So it's a little bittersweet, but I'm going to give it to him. All right. Saturdays are always fun game day. What do you do to get yourself juiced up to play on Saturday? Like, honestly, I like to be calm a little bit. Like, it's after that first play. Like, I'm I'm nervous. I got jitters. Like, it's crazy. Like, on the bus over there, I swear my hands is probably are sweating. <laughs> it don't matter who we're playing. But I like to listen to, like, a little mellow song. Like, some, I might listen to a little hype song, but I just like to calm myself down and get out my thoughts. We thought it was interesting yesterday I asked one of the players from Pitt that, and he said he likes to bang his head against the wall. I said, that's oh, called concussion. Yeah, I would never do nothing like that. <laughs> I said, that is not I me. I said, you could end up concussion yeah. protocol before the game even starts doing yeah. that. I need to make sure I'm away from him on the field. All right, what motivates you to play? What motivates me It's my teammates just and my family and the name on the back of my jersey. I'm just trying to represent myself the best I can. Um, 
knowing that I have a great locker room and people are going to do anything they can to win motivates me to know that when I'm tired and I still have to give effort and I still got to go because I know this person beside me are gonna, is going to do the same thing. If you could trade places with anybody in the whole world for one day, who would you trade places with? Uh, probably, probably either Drake or LeBron James. I just feel like their life is crazy. Okay. All right. If – all right, I just put you in a crayon box. Okay. What color crayon are you? Come on, black. You're black crayon. Yeah, I'm a black okay. crayon. I'm a, I'm a dark chocolate. I hear you. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, football takes up a lot of time with the workouts during off season, season yeah. like that. What do you like to do just to chill and get away? Uh, so recently, I went fishing with a linebacker on our team, Demetrius Kemp, but. I either go with him or I was about to go fishing with uh, our running back, Kate Carney, but I kind of was tired because I was working also. But I like to fish a little bit. I like so you to fish. like fishing? Yeah, I, I do. It's calming. Like, seriously, I get mad a little bit sometimes when I don't – like, I see them catching something and I don't. But it's calming. And sometimes I like to just go on a boat. Like, I really don't jump into the lakes because I'm scared a little bit. But, there you go. But just going on a good boat ride or having a cookout, just having guys over and just engaging in one another and just having a good time. And that's one thing I like about my football, our football team. Uh, we can just do that with each other. It don't have to be just any specific group or clique. Like, I can invite anybody over, you know what I'm saying, and we all just have a good time. You're a defensive tackle, a good defensive tackle at that. How many times a game do you get held? Every play. Yeah, I want, <laughs> we need the question need to be – the question need to be in practice. How many times I get held? <laughs> Think about Justin Haran holding me all the time. All right. And, and with that question being answered there, if you could change any rules, what would you change? If I can change any, any rules? Any rules in football, in football? What would you change? Mm, I don't know if this is a rule or not, but we really don't like this for like playing – on a four-day uh, four break or something like that, like with the Thursday night games. Right. Like that's a, a quick turnaround. It just It's just not enough time to let your body recover from the last game. Okay. What is the hardest part of playing in the ACC? Playing against great teams and great players every single week. Uh, you know it don't matter what team it is. They're playing in the ACC. Every team is good, and you can get beat by anybody. And so just come and prepare every single week. I asked your coach this uh, a year or so ago, uh, if he had any superstitions. And he said he had his lucky underwear he wore every game day, and finally his wife threw them away. Uh, uh, well, he did verify that he did wash them in between. <laughs> because it please do. Okay. Do you have anything, any superstitions or any anything that you do or any traditions? Uh, I used to have some lucky socks in high school, but then I don't know where they went. Uh, but in college, before the games, I really don't like to eat. Like, I'm very like, – I had a bad freshman uh, – redshirt freshman year. Like, before the games, I'll eat too much. Like, I feel so bloated. So, now I'll probably eat, like, maybe bare minimum, probably a couple grapes and, like, a little bit of water. I just don't – I feel like I don't want to be too, like, full. Okay. I'm getting the wrap it up sign, so I'm going to ask you the last question. Gotcha. Did you have fun today? I have a lot of fun. Oh, we appreciate you coming and being with us today. I yes, uh, hope you have a great season yes, this sir. year and hope you're back in a bowl again yes, and, sir. and can, can play as good as you did last time. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. day.